When your will, O Lord, all things are established. Within your will, O Lord, all things are established. And there is none that can resist your will. For you have made all things, the heaven and the earth, and all that is held within the circle of heavens. You are the Lord of all. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The apostles asked Jesus if he could teach them to pray. And Jesus taught them the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father. Let us remember that every time we say the Our Father, that we are praying not just for ourselves, but for everyone around us, everybody in the world. Our Father, who is the Father of us all. We turn to him now and ask him to help us and to forgive us for our failings. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you teach us all to love you and to love each other. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives in the reign to thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Jonah. Jonah was very indignant. He fell into a rage. He prayed to the Lord and said, Ah, Lord, is it not this just I said would happen when I was still at home? That is why I went and fled to Tarshish. I knew that you were a God of tenderness and compassion, slow to anger, rich in graciousness, relenting from evil. So now, Lord, please take my life, please take away my life, for I might as well be dead as to go on living. The Lord replied, Are you right to be angry? Jonah then went out of the city and sat down to the east of the city. There he made himself a shelter and sat under under it in the shade to see what would happen to the city. Then the Lord God arranged that a castor oil plant should grow up over Jonah to give shade for his head and soothe his ill humor. Jonah was delighted with the castor oil plant. But at dawn the next day, God arranged a worm should attack the castor oil plant, and it withered. Next, when the sun rose, God arranged that there should be a scorching east wind. The sun beat down so hard on Jonah's head that he was overcome and begged for death, saying, I might as well be dead as go on living. God said to Jonah, You are right to be angry about the castor oil plant. He replied, I have every right to be angry to the point of death. The Lord replied, You are only upset about a castor oil plant which caused you no labor, which 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 did not make grow, which sprouted in the night and has perished in the night. And am I not to feel sorry for Nineveh, the great city, in which there are more than 120,000 people who could not tell their right hand from their left? So saying nothing of all the animals. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
You, O Lord, have mercy and compassion. You, O Lord, are mighty and compassion. You are my God, have mercy on me, Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. Give joy to, my, to your servant, O Lord, for to you I lift up my soul. You, O Lord, are mighty and compassion. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer and attend to the sound of my voice. You, O Lord, are mighty and compassionate. All the nations shall come to adore you and glorify your name, O Lord, for you are great and do marvelous deeds. You, who alone, are God. You, O Lord, are mighty and compassionate. Alleluia. Alleluia. To keep it with my heart. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Once Jesus was in a certain place praying. And when he had finished, one of his disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, say this when you pray. Father, may your name be held holy, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive each one who is in debt to us and do not put us to the test. The Gospel of the Lord. Prayer, the Our Father, is the prayer that we all say often, for some of us often each day. Begins the decade of the rose, each decade of the rose we begin with the Our Father. And we say Our Father because we know that God is not the God just for us as an individual, but for everyone. He, he is God for all peoples, all nations. And that's why we say, Our Father. And as we go through the Our Father, we think of the love that he has for us. As we say, give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses or forgive us our sins. As we ourselves forgive each one who sins against us. Jesus is just reminding us of the tremendous love that he has in this prayer. And it reminds us how important it is for us, as we say that prayer, to mean what the words actually say. And that we, each and every one of us, will forgive if someone we feel has done us wrong. Whereas we turn to the Lord and ask for his forgiveness and he knows that we may have done wrong and so we ask him for that forgiveness and without exception the Lord will forgive so let us pray as we say the Our Father that we think of the love of the Lord we think of the care that he has for us and in saying that prayer we are saying to the Lord that we love you Lord we want to be part of your family. Let us pray that the Our Father has deep meaning for each and every one of us throughout our lives. And we try to follow the teaching that's in the prayer 
to help us to come closer to Jesus. And so we stand now for our prayers. Encouraged by the prayer that Jesus taught us, we now pray to God our Father for our needs. May all people acknowledge God and keep his name holy. May we work to build a kingdom of truth, love, peace, and unity. Lord, in your mercy. May we share our good fortune, even our daily bread, with those in need. Lord, in your mercy. May we be a people who offer and accept the gift of forgiveness. Lord, in your mercy. May we find encouragement and nourishment in the gift of the bread of life. Lord, in your mercy. May we pray for each and every one who is not well in our parish. Pray that they will be healed, especially those who have the COVID. And we pray for the doctors and the nurses for the tremendous work they do. Lord, in your mercy. We pray too for all those who have died. We pray especially for the repose of the soul of Nora Duffy, whose anniversary it is and for whom are offering this Mass. Lord, in your mercy. We pray also for the repose of the soul of Canon Edward Heary, whose anniversary it is today. Lord, in your mercy. We ask Mary now to join with us as we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust, and with you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father, and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage and defend us from all evil. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Bless the Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread. We offer you fruit to the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless the Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit to the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us, O Lord, from our iniquities and cleanse us all of our sin. Pray, my friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so, it is a right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we to extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaken of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, our clergy, and all our people. Remember also our brothers and sisters and all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, with St. Michael, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
receive his command and form by divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that ye should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. An act of spiritual communion for those watching online. Lord Jesus, we believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. We love you above all things and we desire to receive you into our souls. Since we cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as if you're already there and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen.
The Lord is good to those who hope in him, to the soul that seeks him. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacraments which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thank you all very much and have a nice day.